The Canon 75 to 300 millimeter kit lens. Is it any good for astrophotography? Stay tuned to find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. Thank you all so much for joining me today. But first, if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell icon. That way you'll know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so the Canon 75 to 300 millimeter kit lens. It's big, it's pretty bulky, and it's pretty heavy. But that's what you want to get with any telephoto zoom lens, really. So why did I go this route for my first real dive into deep sky astrophotography? Well, for one reason, really. The price. Here, I have the version 3 of the lens to see the Canon 75 to 300 millimeter f4 to 5.6 lens. And you see that the price is pretty darn affordable. That's what really drew me into this lens, and I'm sure it's drawn many of you in as well. It can reach out pretty far with its 300 millimeter zoom, especially on a crop sensor camera like my Canon T5i and my T3i. I bought this lens used off of bhphotovideo.com, which I highly recommend, by the way, for about $75. And I know some people are kind of wary of buying things used. I'm the exact same way. Whenever I seen the price, you know, I decided I couldn't really pass it up. I don't know if the camera will pick it up here, but there's a few, there's a few little wear marks right here, but that's really about it. Other than that, this lens is pretty much in perfect condition from everything that I can tell. Now I've loved pretty much every second of this lens. It has been a great first deep sky astro lens. And I say first because, well, for the price, in my opinion, you're not going to find anything better on the market to dip your toes into deep sky astrophotography with. At 300 millimeters, you're going to struggle with getting good focus on stars, otherwise they're going to be somewhat bloated. And also at 300 millimeters, coma or elongated stars on the edges of your photos is going to be very apparent. Focus on this lens here is very soft, and most of the time at 300 millimeters, you're going to end up with very bloated looking stars, as you can see here from my last video. You can see now it's pretty darn bloated. So I'm going to try and work on that a little bit. Now fortunately this Canon 70 300 millimeter lens isn't the absolute best thing on the market. So we can see the Sirius is still somewhat bloated. I'm going to go ahead and try a few practice shots with this right here once I get M42 lined up in the frame. So I very rarely shoot with this lens zoomed all the way out to 300 millimeters. I found where this budget lens really starts to shine is anywhere from the 100 to 200 millimeter range. Stars look sharper, calm is less apparent, and overall your photos just look much more tighter overall with your lens in this range. I shot both this picture of Andromeda and Comet 46P or Tannin, both in roughly the 150 millimeter range. And this is compared to my last shot at the Orion Nebula which was zoomed all the way up to 300 millimeters. And as you can see, the stars are just not quite as tight as they were in the previous two pictures. Another gripe, really if you can call it that, is the focus noise whenever you're using autofocus on something. You can definitely hear the gears and they're kind of turning. And there's also a little bit of noise as well whenever you're zooming the lens in and out. But again, overall, this lens is great for the used price. I've shot all of my deep sky astrophotography shots so far with this lens right here. I kind of feel like I'm hitting the upper limits of it. So I've actually ordered something else and I've got something huge on the way. So you all have to stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. For the price, this lens is absolutely fantastic. Again, for the used price, not new. I think it, there's no better option on the market really to introduce yourself to deep sky astrophotography than, than this lens right here. If you're on a tighter budget, this lens is a great way to see if this hobby is for you or not. And it's been an absolute blast to use on the Skywatcher Star Adventure. But again, the price is a downfall because this lens isn't perfect. Manual focus is really tough on this thing, and if you're wanting to push it past 200 millimeters, your photos are probably going to suffer from it. Now again, I'm not fantastic at astrophotography by any means. This is just all my opinion of this lens right here. So yeah, that's pretty much my take on using the Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens for astrophotography. 
Be sure to stick around and subscribe down below because like I said, I've got some really big things coming to this channel here soon. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy.